Well, today the Sumter County Sheriff's Office confirmed to WYS the investigator who killed a man when her cruiser went off the road has a history of crashes. The Sheriff's Office says investigator Elisha McDonald crashed her patrol car into 62-year-old Hercules Sharper June 21st. Sharper later died from his injuries at the hospital. It was earlier this week. Chris Joseph is in Sumter near the scene of the crash with details on the deputy's driving record. Chris? Well, Dondi, Chief Deputy Hampton Garner says that McDonald has crashed before with her sheriff's office vehicle. Now, court records do not show any traffic tickets, and it's not immediately clear how the sheriff's office handled those crashes until the most recent one turned deadly. When you walk into a room, he automatically gets attention because his size and his beautiful smile. Hercules Sharper's family nicknamed him Pee Wee, but it was clear he had a large personality. Like Mama said he didn't really see a stranger. He talked to everybody. Well, he always tell me I love you. I'm sure that no, brings he... some comfort on a certain it level. It do, it do. He was at his job on a rainy June 21st when investigator Alicia McDonald's car crashed into him. Sharper later died at the hospital. Chief Deputy Hampton Gardner says the office is offering its condolences. An unfortunate incident. The officer was responding to a call, uh, an emergency call, backup call to another deputy. Um, and of course, when en route to the, uh, to the backup officer, um, it appears that she lost control of her vehicle. Gardner says McDonald has a history of crashes. This deputy has had repeated crashes, but she was still on the road. What happened? Again, it goes before a review board, an accident review board, and there's, you know, the review board determines what the, uh, what the action will be. Gardner says McDonald has received discipline for the crashes, but the exact details are not immediately available. He says the sheriff has the power to take a deputy off the road, and McDonald did receive annual training on driving. In the officer's view, was she driving safely? Uh, I don't, I can't answer that question again. It's being investigated. Um, she killed someone. I think the public would say no. Yes, sir. Well, that's the public's opinion. And until it's investigated, I, you know, I, I don't want to make a statement to that effect. The Highway Patrol is investigating. The family questioned why information about the case has only recently began becoming public. There wasn't anything on it, on Facebook, news, newspaper, or anything. It was just like it didn't happen. Why do you think it... Was, to out. me, it, it seems like they were hiding something. McDonald was placed on administrative leave and is still being paid. I was at the office. I submitted a freedom of information request to get information on what happened with those other crashes and how the sheriff's office handled them. Of course, once we know more, we will report it to you here. Reporting in Sumter, Chris Joseph, WIS News 10.